Yeah, that's right. We're actually outside right now. I'm in front of the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art in Kansas City, Missouri, which is an amazing art museum. But I'm actually outside for a very specific reason, and that's to show off some of the features of the Lightship ARDK platform just launched by Niantic last week. I was actually invited out to San Francisco to Niantic's headquarters to witness the launch of the Lightship ARDK platform, as well as talk to some of their developers and even their global head of marketing to determine how we can use these as developers and creators to enhance our brand's intelligence and the augmented reality space in the years to come. Unless you've been living under a rock the past several years, you've definitely heard of Niantic's hugely successful Pokemon Go. But what exactly is Lightship ARDK? Who better to tell us than Megan Hughes, head of marketing for Niantic Lightship? So Lightship is the name for all of our tech, all of our tech platform that powers our games like Pokemon Go and Ingress. And what we're starting with today is Lightship ARDK, our AR Developer Kit, which is just a piece of the puzzle for Lightship. Um, and we're bringing ARDK out to developers so that they can start building location-based AR applications with things like meshing, multiplayer, semantic segmentation, and really the tools that they can use in their applications to have realistic experiences. Now, let's talk about a few of those features that Megan just mentioned. We'll start with semantic segmentation. On the left is Lightship ARDK doing its thing, and on the right is the raw output for what it's segmenting from the scene, including grass, trees, and the sky. But that's not all. Lightship can actually detect buildings, the sky, foliage, natural ground, artificial ground, water, and more. Now, let's talk about meshing. Lightship's meshing tools allow for realistic shadow placement, collisions, occlusion, and more. You can actually see the mesh detection in action here, detecting objects and depth in real time as my camera moves around the scene. And the accuracy is incredible, even on semi-complex structures. Finally, let's cover multiplayer. Out of the box, Lightship has a game lobby system, leaderboards, and it can even run across Bluetooth no Wi-Fi required. Just start a game, pair up, and start throwing snowballs at each other. Roll all of these features together and you'll get mind-blowing experiences like the one at Coachella this year, where we can include entire buildings and landscapes in our scenes to really nail the immersiveness. Niantic's history has given it a unique insight in how brands can connect to audiences using augmented reality. Here's more from Megan. What's been most exciting is to find that even though they all are in different verticals or have different products, there's this underlining goal or drive that brands have to connect people and to like actually have meaningful experiences for their users. Mm -hmm. And those are the brands that we want to partner with and the ones we want to work with, because that's what we want to do at Niantic. We want, we want to get people outside and moving like we do with our games. And it's it's been fun to see the different vision and the different sort of inspiration folks are looking to get from augmented reality because it doesn't disconnect, it brings it brings people together. Right. Yeah. And so it's it's no matter who we're talking to, every conversation sort of leans into how do we how do we get people like talking in line when they're waiting for their coffee? Or how do we get people collaborating on some art project together? Like it's just been really fun to see that this is kind of what folks are looking for. Yeah. I asked Megan what feature she was most excited for brands to discover. Here's what she had to say. I'm really looking forward to the multiplayer capabilities. So we're doing something with PGA where they're trying to get the junior league golfers out and experience in the game in a different form. But it's it's really truly about competing with your friends and seeing the different ways that folks are going to use um, multiplayer together. Now to my favorite feature, which hasn't actually even been released yet. It's called VPS, like GPS, but the V stands for visual. It allows for extremely accurate placement of digital objects in physical spaces, which means that you can power a global scavenger hunt down to a few centimeters with incredible accuracy. We're truly talking about digital twins at this point, but it's not out yet, so let's ask Megan what we can expect. So we're looking at sometime next year awesome. for our VPS. So we gave a little sneak peek 
um, in our keynote, we showed it working in some of the applications we're building. And so in our in our launch today, we were showing that this is working code and it's not an R&D thing. So it's out in our uh, applications right now. And so we're testing it out. And so that's our that's the other advantage I think that Niantic has is we are everything that we're bringing out, we use internally to first and kick the tires on it. And so that's our goal for next year is to bring people VPS. Awesome. Yeah. Clearly, there's a ton of amazing potential in Lightship. So let's end on Megan to tell us how to get started. You should go to lightship.dev to look at the ARDK. Um, NianticLabs.com will have some of our additional details. Uh, yeah, and you can join our community forum there. And now, starting today, you can sign up at lightship.dev.